mabati bora haya basi tunakutana mwanadada mmoja ambaye kweli ameweza kupombea kwa hii biashara haya basi ishakuwa ungana na mitabi za mfoni ndani ya mabati bora manufacturers limited karibuni kwa majina ni Sarolin Mwendia I'm one of the directors because we are, I have also a co-director called Peter Wainaina but um, a director uh, Mabati Bora basically ni a uh, manufacturing industry yeah. where we give our customers uh, luxurious and stylish roofing sheets at an affordable price uh, different colors that suits our clients yeah basically okay. that's what mabati bora is all about ni mabati mabati as the name suggests mm -hmm. mabati yeah. bora haya basi tunataka kujielewa safari yako ulianzia wapi mambo ya mabati ama nini ilikuwa ndani yako ukasema mimi biashara ya mabati nikashika hivi ni biashara ambayo naweza ipeleka hivi na ishika line kabisa inilete faida maishani mwangu uh, basically nilikuwa ninafanya kazi kwa kampuni ya mabati where uh -huh. i started uh -huh. Uh, there was a company that I was managing. I was the general manager, uh -huh. and I managed the company for three years. Mm -hmm. So when I decided to start my own company, mm -hmm. I already had the experience because mm -hmm. I had transformed transformed that company from zero to wherever it was in three years. So basically, I had everything mm -hmm. that it, that it would take to start my own company because. I, if I was able to manage someone else's company, then there was no reason kwa nini singe fanya yangu. Aha, sasa as a woman, ni ngumu sana wane mwanamke ameingilia manufacturing, sana sana sekta hii ya, ya mabati ya. Yeah. Nini likuwa ndani yako kasema, mimi napenda mabati ama napenda vitu kama hivi? Uh, about being a woman, it's all about mindset. Because about like this nowadays, I think we also say what a man can do, women can do we even can better. Do better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I knew like yes, it's a it's an industry that has been dominated by men, mm -hmm. but there was no reason why I wouldn't be able to do it because we are not lesser of a person. Mm -hmm. Tukiangalia takwimu kutoka kwa chama cha Kenya cha wazalishaji kwa wanawake katika kazi asilimia 36 ya wanawake wako kazini ukilinganisha na idadi kubwa ya wanaume ya asilimia sitini na nne. Lakini kwa sekta isiyo rasmi wanawake wanaumiliki biashara ni asilimia tisini na tatu. Hii ina maana kuwa wanawake wanazidi wanaume kwa sekta za kiafya za kibinadamu na kwenye shughuli za kazi za kijamii. So fast forward umetoka kuwa GM of that company mali ulikuwa umekuja umeanzisha yako ulianzisha mwaka gani na safari yako imekuwa vipi I started last year and the only thing that I wanted to show maybe the world or the ladies mm -hmm. that you could you can come out from being employed mm -hmm. to employing yourself Yeah yeah kwa sababu you know most of the people uh, their dream ends mm -hmm. after employment mm -hmm. and sometimes I th don't know whether I'm the only person when you are na yo. Like, if you wake up one day and somebody tells you, don't come tomorrow, what would you do? That is something, even when you are employed, unatakikana kukau kijiuliza. If tomorrow you are told not to come to work the following day, is your dream gonna end there? Are those people that were looking up unto you, is their success story gonna end there all? They will still move on. I think that's what motivated me to start my own. Like. When I was told to go for for a leave, uh -huh. and then I went home mm -hmm. and I slept for two weeks, and I asked myself, mm -hmm. "What if it was termination? Uh -huh. How would I start that?" Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Now I think I'm good enough mm -hmm. to do my own things. Whereby if I wake up every morning, I don't have to worry if somebody will tell me tomorrow don't report don't to work." To work. Yeah, that's what motivated me. And uh -huh. again, what motivated me was. Mm -hmm. I didn't want that person who was looking up and to me mm -hmm. to feel like their life can also end like mine. When I wanted to show them there's yeah. life after employment. Being conversant with Mabati, that means you understand the whole production process, where they get the Mabati, how they process everything, but no, the issue is capital. Yeah, when it comes to capital, that is something that each and every business comes to a halt. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So where did you start with yours? Where did you get the money? 
tell us, narrate to us your <laughs> financial journey when you started the Mabati Bora business. Uh, that, that was mm -hmm. quite something because mm -hmm. uh, you're there, mm -hmm. uh, you have an idea, you know Mabati business, like let's say, not even, let's, let's not even talk about Mabati, like manufacturing by itself is the in thing now. If you are in manufacturing, you can never go wrong with uh -huh. manufacturing. You can never go wrong with manufacturing. That's why I think it's, it's even in the president big four agenda, manufacturing, uh, it's still in uh, affordable housing, still goes back to Mabati, yeah. women empowerment, I'm a woman. Youth, mm -hmm. so I, 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 it's like I was fitting with the whole big four agenda as a president. Yeah, okay. so it means mm -hmm. if the country mm -hmm. can decide to support the big four agenda uh -huh. of manufacturing, mm -hmm. then it means you can never go wrong with manufacturing. So I knew you could, I could never go wrong with uh -huh. that, but then I didn't have the money. Uh, we started with being a distributor. You know, sometimes you, you s like start small. Yeah. I had a support team. I had mm -hmm. my co-director. Yeah. I had other support team that people I could talk to. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily them giving me the money, mm -hmm. but telling me I can do it. Yeah. Uh, and then we approached the bank and we mm -hmm. sold our idea. You know, have you ever called people, because we didn't have an office, in your own house, and tell them what you are thinking and they buy it. That's how much, mm -hmm. like I really knew what I needed. Yeah, and I had to go for it. Like there was no turning back. Mm -hmm. And that's how we got some money, mm -hmm. started the distribution point. Mm -hmm. The other co-director also had his savings. Mm -hmm. We started buying Mabatis from other companies and mm -hmm. selling to our customers. I already had the Nakuru market. But what I can advise mm -hmm. someone who is employed, mm -hmm. when you are working for someone, mm -hmm. uh, do it uh, with your own, own whole heart. Like, usi bakishe anything. Because if I was treating people badly, because mm -hmm. kwa kampuni ya wenyewe, nobody would be coming here. But because I was good, I, there was communication, tulikuwa mm tunasikizana -hmm. now, there was that breakthrough. So, hata wakati nilianza yangu, the same customers came looking for me. Yeah, because of that relationship. I dedicated my all to that company. So now let's look at the production bit of it when it comes to investing. Umepata pesa fulani, kiwango fulani, umeanzisha your distribution business and then you came up, uh, you came, say, put up your own. Sindio? Yeah. How did you uh, come about getting a location it's here in Nakuru, mm -hmm. getting a, this big space here? That's why they say the legality to it. Yeah, yeah. They, sometimes that's why they say maybe two is better than one. Uh -huh. Because like you say, I'm very good at sales, I'm very good at marketing. Uh -huh. My co-director is very good at engineering because that is, that is his field. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm good in this, he's good in that. So when it came to acquiring the machines, yeah. uh, the materials, mm -hmm. the setup of the company, he mm -hmm. did it within three months. Like setting up everything and acquiring the machines. Mm -hmm. That's how fast it was for him because that was his field. Mm -hmm. Maybe it would have been a little bit mm -hmm. uh, difficult for me, mm -hmm. but he did it. So that's why we are good as partners mm -hmm. because as partners, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it works for us. Yeah, but you see, like, uh, when we started the distribution point, yeah. we were like, why should we limit ourselves? Why should we limit ourselves from buying to other companies and selling? And mo maybe people will think it's our product. Yeah. Why don't we have our own brand? Mm -hmm. And again, still the, goes back to how to looking for finances. I think yeah. the whole thing is all about finances. But it's not all about finances. It's the idea that you have. You, there are so many people who have a lot of money yeah. and they can't come up with anything. So let's uh, look into starting this business. Yeah, kuhule mtu mwenye anakutazama na sema mimi, Sarolin, amenipatia idea, amenipatia, yani nasike na mskumo, ameni encourage, yani inaeza anzisha biyashara kama yake, ama anything else. Kuyanzisha hii biyashara, besides finances, unahitaji nini? Vision. Uh -huh. You need to have a clear vision of what you want. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly what you want, mm -hmm. where you want to go, mm -hmm. where will you be in five years. Uh -huh. Like you have to have it clear in your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like something you can gamble mm -hmm. with. You must have a business plan. Uh -huh. Now you also need to have your projections. Like uh -huh. if I started this way, uh, 
unapanga kufanya nini? Maybe in one year, what are your targets? We always set targets here. Every month we have our own meetings mm -hmm. and we set targets. Like this month we have been able to sell like 10 million. Mm -hmm. uh, how do we move to 15 million? Mm -hmm. So now maybe you start telling your people to start going to maybe a field, mm -hmm. site to site, yeah. uh, looking for distributors who can also move your products, mm -hmm. hardwares, yeah. such, such like things. Mm -hmm. You've got to also look, you have to work with people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't, you, you, you can't do it on your own. Yeah, yeah. you need people to make it work. Yeah? But the big challenge uh -huh. about any business uh -huh. is capital. You know, every yeah. business is capital intensive. Uh -huh. You can imagine a situation whereby you've gone to the bank, mm -hmm. You know, that is, I, sometimes I don't know how it works. Mm -hmm. The government says that they want to support SMEs. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh, SMEs, Sydney have a small business mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. So it means when you are starting a small business, mm -hmm. where do you get a collateral of 20 million? Uh -huh. yeah. Which yeah. now that brings the aspect of Smeka into your business? Exactly. Uh -huh. Probably you can tell us how you, uh, how you have used Smeka and how it has helped uh, boost your investments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With that, mm -hmm. you see now at least now they are able to come to come in, see maybe what you've been doing, look at your accounts, and maybe they can be able to say this person. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was a pesa kiasi fulani because about we have seen have their books mm -hmm. now what how it can help them. Yeah. Now they can be given money maybe with them, even without security. Yeah. So yeah. for how long have you been using Smeka? Uh, one year. One year. Yeah. So, so far, so good. good. Yeah, it's good. Wow, it's uh, good. something that you'd recommend to any, any yeah business any business person out yeah, there. yeah 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 uh -huh. because once they come and they are able to see your systems everything uh -huh. is running they see that this, your systems are in place mm -hmm. then the bank can use that uh -huh. to like give you some money mm -hmm. yeah with, with only that with the system mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mchango wa utengenezaji kwa pato la taifa umeweza kuenda chini kutoka mwaka 2016 mpaka wa 2019 and on that note, tunachukua break kidogo lakini usidondoke manage tunareja na mengi kusoma kutoka na nahibi ya shara ya mabati bora. Karibu tena unakitaza makipini cha the hustle li tunasema ni show ya mwananchi na kwambia leo tunamwana mke bomba. Hey, mabati bora limited. So cha tuyelewe the production aspect of it. Hapa ndiyo kazi iko. Yes. Eh? Sasa tueleze una mabati ya inagani, process iko na mnagani. Tuanzea po kwa mabati ya inagani. We can say we have like three varieties of mabatis. Eh? Tuko na corrugated iron sheets. Uh -huh. Izo sasa ni mabati za, hizi za kitambo, za kawaida. Uh -huh. Then from the corrugated iron sheets, uh -huh. we go to box profile. Box profile. Box profile. Uh -huh. They are modern, stylish, yeah. and very affordable. Kutoka kwa box profile, now uh -huh. we have Caitlyn tiles. Uh, those ones are luxurious, elegant. Uh -huh. They come in 28 gauge. Kind of expensive kidogo, but uh -huh. if you need that... Uh, house <laughs> then yeah. you've got to, to buy this yeah yeah but they are good because they are safe for drinking water ah. they're safe yeah you know some most of the people think because maybe they it's they are rough it's called matte finish yeah so you would think that uh, they are not safe for drinking water but they are safe uh -huh. another advantage we have with our iron sheets mm -hmm. uh, we customize them to your style we customize, we cut to measure. Your yes, style and taste. Yeah. yeah. So if you want like uh, five meters, we'll do five meters. If you want 10 meters, we can still customize it to 10 meters. The only challenge if you tell us to do 15 meters will be transportation. Because uh -huh. you know, but we can do that. You can do so that. So that's yeah. an, uh, one of the advantages that we have. Uh -huh. Yeah, we customize it to, to, your, to, your, to, your, to your need. To Again, uh, we have mm. uh, sand coated. Those ones are more of sand coated iron sheets. They come in small pieces, uh -huh. but they are the most expensive ones. Uh -huh. Maybe puppies goes for between 800 and 1100, depending uh -huh. on which one, depending Why are on they the gauge. The, most expensive? Uh, the, the gauge, the, the thickness uh -huh. is 26 gauge. So, uh -huh. uh, and again, they are soundproof, they are heat resistant. Mm -hmm. And they are also very stylish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You look at the house and you know, mm. yeah, somebody has put some money in it. Yeah. Yeah. Kila customer mwenye anaingia, hakuna mwenye anakosa. 
na sasa umesema pricing mabati yako na uzaji different textures uh -huh. so kila mabati iko na bei tofauti uh -huh. but kama sasa unaona hizi za aluzi hizi zenye watu wengi wananunua maybe they will range between 250 the cheapest uh, lakini kuna za 32 gauge those ones you, you can't really use them for roofing those one will go between 230 and the most expensive one will be 1100 per meter per meter yeah. ah. yes uh, and again uh, our mabati is uh, they have been certified by caps uh -huh. for quality purposes why we are different is because uh -huh. we can open an account for you and then you can be paying kidogo kidogo malipo ya pole pole maybe when you are starting to build your house unaanza kulipia mabati uh -huh. by the time you are done wakati unakuja kuchukua mabati ulishamaliza kulipa so ni kubeba tu kuliko wakati umeweka roof and everything ndio unaanza ku struggle kutafuta pesa so you could be if you have 5000 unaleta hiyo 5000 if you have 10000 at the end of the day utakuta ulisha by the time unamaliza kujenga maybe you'll have saved 100000 or more so unakuja tu unabeba mabati yeah, kuna pia yeah, we have, wale wanakujia yeah, mabati we have, yeah we transport and you also deliver we, are, we deliver for them we deliver for them there are those who would come with their own trucks and 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 that's good kwa sababu it depends maybe you want your mabati to be taken to kisumu at least we will have to to organize order zikuwe mingi kidogo ndio tupeleke kisumu but if you are in a hurry people come with your with their own trucks another challenge yenye imekuwa na hizi mabati ni kufed like hiyo rangi saa zingine kuchipuka but we are grateful to the government at the moment because before we import mabati ulete Kenya so that you don't bring cake to Kenya something that is substandard that one is a plus ndio unaona kitabu kulikuwa na hiyo shida ya mabati kufed kuchipuka and all that kurust yeah now days i think your problem imekuwa solved kwa sababu zina the the government at the moment hai allow ulete something that is substandard, substandard mostly course. we get them from china uh -huh. egypt uh -huh. yeah so many places uh -huh. but mostly uh -huh. watu wengi tunatoa mabati china na sasa mbona hatuna uwezo uwezo wa kujiprocessia mabati yetu i i think the materials the the uh, the iron ore we we don't have it in kenya uh -huh. uh, the other time we went to like ipia county they were launching something to do with mining uh -huh. that's what we are following up maybe once they are, they, are, they are done with that uh -huh. we can be able to to have the iron ore in kenya we will be able to do our own mining uh -huh. and then maybe along the way we will see if we can get zinc because si jaskia mahali imepatikana kenya lakini i know we have it definitely ni vile tu bado hatuja explore enough yeah but tutapata tu yeah yeah aha sasa mabati kija hapa inakuja ikiwa in what state alafu ni sasa unaanza ku customize hivi yani inakuwa na shape tofauti tofauti yeah mabati inafika ikiwa like a coil maybe like those ones over there you can bring them kama hazina rangi then maybe they are just a losing and you can decide to bring them when they are already pre-coated because the the other process ya wewe kuanza kujipakia rangi na kuitengeneza hizo materials ndio ikuwe mabati it can take a very long time a long time yeah and and uh, capital intensive if already kama this one we are doing role forming and we need, we need uh, somebody who can come and support us with not less than 100 million for us to be able to see that we are doing something mm. <laughs> and this is role forming yeah how about when we decide to do the whole process yeah. i think that one but we can we will get there that's what yeah. we are thinking to do in 5 years uh, so, so when it comes to investing yeah Uh, biashara mingi unaona probably they do not celebrate their second birthday even the third one uh, wewe unaweza tuambia nini umefanya tofauti ndio kaweza kusimama mpaka poe uko na one year sasa eh so naelekea two years nini umefanya tofauti ili uweze kufika hapa na bado unaendelea i think it's good pricing yeah good pricing kwa sababu you know when a customer want to buy something definitely huwa ana shop around So akikuja akuta you have good quality iron sheets but bado price yako ni affordable. Uh, definitely you will get them. That's where the catch is. Again, communication. Communication is key. We communicate to our customers. Like we have this challenge. We are fixing it. So even if your mabati ime delay leo, but kesho tutaleta. We just don't keep quiet. That way you give customer your satisfaction na mtu anasikia at least bado mko pamoja. Another thing that we do differently is good customer service. You know sometimes you go somewhere, you find something is expensive, but the reception 
inafanya tu ununue. Okay, sasa advice yako kwa yule mtu mwenye labda ameanzisha biashara but mambo na savings, investing hajui. To advise kulingana na vile umeza ku save na ku invest. The whole thing uh -huh. ni vile utatafuta hizo pesa. Uh -huh. So I think you will also have a mood of savings. Maybe you can get into circles whereby if you save like 100,000 you can get 300,000 depending na ni kazi gani kwa sababu kazi nayo kama sasa hii ya mabati hawezi sema uta save 100,000 and you need 100 million. Yeah. That one you will need, really need some. The truth is you will need some collateral. Mm -hmm. Whether uta pewa na marafiki ama zako zenye umeweka hata kama uh -huh. ni nyumba yako or something mm -hmm. you will have to sacrifice something. Yeah. Nothing comes easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kwa sababu hakuna banki inaweza kuja hapa ikupatie 50 million without anything. That is the whole truth. Hata mimi siwezi sema. But now you see like now I have these machines. If I needed some extra cash, wanaweza kuja sasa na watumie hizi machines kama collateral. All they can use my books. Now that I'm already in operation, they can use my books, maybe audited, audited accounts. Yeah. Waangalie maybe vile biashara inaenda, even yeah. if I have a collateral somewhere, yeah. wanaweza fikiria labda kuongezea kitu. Sasa uh -huh. mm. hizo mabatu na import na machine nazo? Machines zote ni kuimport. Mm. Eh, hakuna hata wow. mtu anatengeneza hizi machines uh -huh. eh, Kenya. Na najua umeweza ku peana makazi, job creation manake yeah. kwa kila every business lazima kuwe na wafanyikazi. Exactly. Ehe, sasa kazi yako umegawanisha kivipi, una wafanyikazi wangapi, ni watu ambao wamesomea hii kazi ama ni wewe umewafunza? Yeah, definitely you must have qualified people. Uh -huh. Biashara kama hii ni lazima ukuwe na accountant who uh -huh. is very competitive. Yeah. You must have a manager. Uh -huh. You must have someone who is in IT kwa sababu hata uh -huh. ya advertisement na kuran the system. Uh -huh. Uh, you must have people in marketing, those production. who will do the production. Uh -huh. uh, we must, must have, have an engineer, like the other director is also an engineer, so at least we have that. Na ukulazima ukwe na madrivers and all that. We will employ more once the company grows. We are also thinking of uh, expanding our our business. Yeah. Right now, tumefungua branch Rumuruti. Uh -huh. Again, uko to employ more than seven people. Uh -huh. uh, our next uh, target is going to Maralal where we have already established the site. Mm -hmm. So we will do that. Again, we will also create employment. Mm -hmm. And once you create employment, you also reduce the rate of crime. Yeah. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, revenue to the government. Yeah. When it comes to legal matters, yeah? Like what do you need to set up this business? You need the CAB certificate. Uh -huh. You need the NEMA certificate, uh -huh. NCA, because uh -huh. you wouldn't want to do a building and then it collapses when people are still working here. You need a government license, uh -huh. the county government license. Yeah. Uh, such and so many more. So, there are so many. We are also planning to call the county government. We do a launch because when we wanted to do the launch, uh -huh. then the corona thing happened. Yeah, and corona happened. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how has it affected you so far? Basically, I think the idea of the government is affected because everybody uh -huh. went home uh -huh. and now everybody else is building, you know. Because wow. uh -huh. we realize that we have to focus on corona town. Yeah. Sasa warudi mashamba. So ni... <laughs> <laughs> Lakini kutokana na utafiti wa Metropol Harvest, uzalishaji wa mabati ya karatasi ulifanya vema kutoka mwaka 2016 hadi wa 2019 ukilinganisha na wa 2020 ambapo uzalishaji ulienda chini. Very soon we also tunaenda kukua giant. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You will, People will be looking at us and uh -huh. they will be like Ah, uh, how do I compete with the Mabati Bora? That's where we are going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hakuna mtu atakuwa na pita hapa. You know we are in the highway. Yeah, we come on makeup block. Yes, and we are Kenyans <laughs> and yeah. we are promoting by Kenya Build Kenya, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Sasa advice yako to a fellow woman who is probably also in the manufacturing business, a word of advice to her. And also generally to the mwananchi mwenye anasema, Rona happened, hakuna kazi naweza fanya, bado nataka kuemploiwa, eh, niko na idea, sina pesa advice yako inaweza kuwa gani? I'm also to fellow women. Mm. We can do this. Hakuna yes, kazi ya wa mama na ya wanaume. <laughs> we can all do something. Mm -hmm. uh, we can manage. We can manage because uh, I think when it comes to, to brain or IQ, I think even we, we women have high IQ. We do. Yeah, yeah. Wa mama, tujikaze kabisa. 
let's get in there let's compete with men we can manage we don't have to sell clothes and shoes wacha tuingie manufacturing wacha tutengeneze mabati wacha tuingie kwa you know those ata kware tunaenda tunaanza kuchimba mawe na we can do it why not no nao wale wenye wanataka kuanzisha biashara you can also manage Haya basi, biashara ni nyingi lakini wacha tuangazie ambayo waweza ekeza kwa shilingi elfu tano. Biashara ya kushona mkeka. Kushona mkeka wahitaji zulia ya tundu, nyuzi za aina ya pamba zenye rangi tofauti, makasi na crocheti. Kutumia crocheti yako, shona mkeka ukijaza pamba yako kwenye matundu ya zulia. Kisha tafuta soko, mahali ambapo utauzia na tena kwa bei gani. Waweza uza kwenye mitandao tofauti tofauti marafiki na pia mle sokoni. Kumbuka faida ndilo jambo la muhimu katika biashara yoyote. Haya 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 ndio tulikuwa tumekuandalia kwa siku ya leo na kutoka kwangu Tabitha Mudhoni na mwenzangu hapa. India. Aha. Tibora factory. Aha. Tuendelea kujenga, tuendelea kununua mabati, Aha. high to roofing sheets, free transportation. Aha. Na mabati ni mabati bora. Kweli umesikia mabati bora tunaelekea kujenga inchi, tunaelekea kujenga na tuonane tena wiki ijayo. Kwaheri. Asante sana.